what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Tuesday night, the much anticipated rematch between Teddy Riley and Babyface for the undisputed hitmaker crown of the world went down and it did not disappoint. So much so that it broke the internet. Yeah, by the time the numbers reached 500,000 people watching at one time, it couldn't take anymore. Instagram shut down the live. They just couldn't take it. They, they didn't really shut it down. They just had technical difficulties. Their system could not hold that many people at one time. I don't know why they didn't prepare for something like that. Seems like to me when D-Nice hit that 100,000 mark, they should have started getting ready. You know, then he hit 100,000, then he hit 150. They should have known that people love competition. So once a record is broken, now people have something to aim toward and it's on. I suspect that real soon, somebody's gonna get a million people to watch at one time. Perhaps it'll be me. Let me see, what could I do to make a million people watch at one time? I'll think about it. Give me some ideas if you have any. Okay, now, of course, this was a lot different than the first hookup between Teddy and Babyface. Now, I know a lot of people went in on Teddy, but I'm going to tell you something. As an artist, I can appreciate simplicity, but I can also appreciate somebody thinking outside of the box and trying to bring something special to the stage. And I know it wasn't really a stage. I mean, it's Instagram Live, but, you know, how many times do we see people just playing music and just talking or whatever. You know, Teddy tried to do something different and it backfired. Now, had it worked, everybody would have been saying he's a genius. But, you know, he had too much going on and it compromised his sound and they had to reschedule, you know, they had to do a rematch. If nothing else, they broke a record. This is the first rematch. Uh, the first rematch took place for Versus, so... <laughs> <laughs> he got another record under his belt. Now, this was much anticipated because people know that both Teddy Riley and Babyface are capable artists. I mean, these dudes have so many hits. Many of the hits I didn't, I wasn't even aware. I just knew that they were hit makers. I knew that they worked with a lot of different people. So I wasn't really surprised that these guys had so many hits, but it was very, I guess, uh, interesting. I guess it was interesting to know that they had worked with so many different people. I just want to give y'all a quick rundown of some of these hits, man. This is just amazing. I'll start with Babyface. Uh, now, y'all know, if you're familiar with Babyface's catalog, you know there's a lot more hits than what I'm naming, but I'm just going to name a few of them that I like, some of my favorites from Babyface. For the cool in you, whip appeal, never keeping secrets, every time I close my eyes, when can I see you? Oh man, that is my absolute favorite. Soon as I get home and two occasions. Uh, those are my favorite songs from Babyface, his personal songs. And these are some of my favorites that he wrote for other people. Uh, Boys to Men, End of the Road, Tevin Campbell, Can We Talk, Karen White, Superwoman, Johnny Gill, My, 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 Tony Braxton, uh, Love Should Have Brought Your Ass Home, Mary J. Blige, Not Gonna Cry, Whitney Houston, I'm Your Baby Tonight, Whitney Houston, Excel, uh, Bobby Brown, Roni, Bobby Brown, Don't Be Cruel, Drew Hill, We're Not Making Love No More, uh, Boys to Man, I'll Make Love to You, The Whispers, Rock Steady, TLC, Baby, 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 Bobby Brown, Every Little Step, After Seven, Ready or Not, and Beyonce, 
best thing I ever had. Teddy Riley hits include his own hits from his own groups. Black Street, Before I Let Go, Black Street Joy, Black Street No Diggity, Guys uh, I Like, Guy Let's Chill, Groove Me, Teddy's Jam, Pieces of My Love, or Piece of My Love, and uh, Black Street, Don't Leave Me. Uh, that's my absolute favorite from Black Street, Don't Leave Me. Uh, others hit, other hits that Teddy Riley wrote include High Five, The Kissing Game, Bobby Brown, My Prerogative, Key Sweat, Make It Last Forever, Key Sweat, I Want Her, Michael Jackson, Remember the Time, Bobby Brown, One More Night, Bobby Brown, Two Can Play That Game, Bobby Brown, Get Away, Rex in Effect, Rum Shaker, SWV, Right Here, that, that's the Human Nature remix, uh, Heavy D and the Boys, Is It Good to You, Profile, Liar, Cool Mo D, Wild Wild West, and Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew, the show. If I had a hat, man, I'd, I'd tip it. I'd take my hat off to these guys. These guys have put in some work and they deserve respect. Now, I know people had some fun with the memes with Teddy Riley and everything, but I think most people kept it respectful. But, you know, it was kind of funny. It was kind of entertaining. But like I said... I really appreciate the effort. As an artist, he was trying to give the people more. And I think that people should like look at that, like look at it like he, well, you know, yeah, he mess, kind of messed everything up on that particular night, but his heart was in the right place. It's all about intent, right? And so many artists today are lazy. So many artists that just do the minimal and They'll do the minimum and they just get on out of there, you know, like even when they're performing on stage, they just, a lot of them be lip syncing and just giving the, the, the audience a half-ass performance. A lot of them come out on stage drunk and high and all kind of stuff. And they just don't have any type of, uh, I guess, professionalism when they're on the stage. And they, a lot of them just don't give a damn. And that showed me that because Teddy Riley wanted to put on a show, it showed me that he really does care about the fans. So this, this is why I could appreciate everything that happened. I really thought that everything was messing up again, but I could tell it wouldn't. When it started buffering on, on, on Tuesday, I was like, damn, it, it, I, I, this is how bad, this is how you know it was a good match. And this is how you know people really was anticipating it. When my phone, when my uh, stream started buffering, when the stream started buffering, I thought maybe it was my internet connect. I checked my other devices and everything was running smoothly. So I was like, well, damn, well, maybe it's somebody else. You know, maybe it's theirs. So I thought, well, maybe it's one of, I thought maybe it's Babyface's uh, internet connection because this time they had Babyface hosting as opposed to Teddy Riley. So I'm thinking, well, maybe Babyface is buffering. You know, it's his internet connect. Turns out they had broke the damn internet. They had broken Instagram's uh, 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 streaming power. They just didn't have enough to hold it. And that was beautiful. That is beautiful. That was very good for the culture. And I salute both of those guys. And I also salute Timberland and uh, Swiss Beast for, you know, providing that, that platform for these artists to get on and showcase their talents and open these guys up to a whole new legion of fans because some people I talked to said they didn't even know who Teddy Riley was or they didn't know who Babyface was. This is absolutely insane to me. People, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. Know your history. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.